Uh, hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox, and we have some absolutely hot off the press breaking news. Lucy Letby, the neonatal nurse, has been found guilty. She has been found guilty of ending the lives of seven innocent newborn babies, little human beings. She ended them. She's been found guilty. And let us hope that she goes to jail for the rest of her miserable life. And let's hope that isn't too long. In any you know, sane, just world, she'd have been walked out of that court, had a rope put around her neck, and had a short drop. We don't have that as an option. But I do hope that the ladies at whatever jail she ends up in, give her a very, very warm welcome. We're going to have a look at this story. It's, uh, it's a disgusting story of a disgusting piece of human filth who could even think of doing this to babies. I just hope that somebody thinks it's fun to give her a really shit time for the remainder of whatever life she can manage to scrape together. I hope every day is sheer hell. Let's look at this story. So Lucy Letby is guilty of taking the lives of seven babies. Neonatal nurse 33 weeps as she's convicted of taking the lives of premature newborns in horrific hospital killing spree to become the most ch prolific child ender of life in modern British history. She's crying. How dare she fucking cry when she sees the tears she's caused. Let's hope she's got reason to cry. Let's hope by tonight as she's laying in that cell, she knows exactly what fear is. I want every day of her life to be filled with fear and loathing. I want her to never be treated as a human being again. Lucy Letby, Lucy Letby today became the most prolific child killer in modern British history after a jury found her guilty of murdering seven premature babies and trying to take the lives of six more during a year-long killing spree. The neonatal nurse, 33, who will likely spend the rest of her life in prison. Let's hope it's not too long, eh? Prayed on babies small enough to fit in the palm of her hand by injecting air into their bloodstreams or feeding tubes, causing them to collapse and die. She attacked twins and murdered two boys out of a set of identical triplets within 24 hours of each other. Let be crying in court as the first of the guilty verdicts were returned. Her mother broke into a series of anguished sobs, which continued even after she'd left the court. And at one point she cried out, you can't be serious, this can't be right. Oh, it is right. This woman, when you watch and read the trial, as the trial was going along, there was absolutely no doubt at all that this woman was that. I think they ought to take the bloody mother in. If that's the child you've raised, you're part of the problem, love. The cowardly killer later refused to return to the dock to hear the last of the verdicts, with the judge saying he'd had no power to force her to come up from the cells. He should. He should make her stand there. Make her look into the eyes of the families as, as a jury, thank God for the jury, said guilty, guilty, guilty. They should make her listen to that. After each of her murders, let me appeared animated and excited, offering to bathe, dress and take photographs of her victims' bodies. Although her motive remains unclear, the prosecution suggested she got a thrill out of playing God. They also suggested she tried to impress a married doctor. Inside her messy, childlike home, people, uh, police found post-it note, which as she scrawled, I am evil, I did this. And in one case... A senior nurse on duty had to repeatedly tell Letby to come out of a room where a grieving couple was spending their last moments with their infant son. The father said Letby came in with a ventilated basket and told them, you said your goodbyes, do you want me to put him in here? This prompted the wife to tell her he's not dead yet. The nurse, seemingly goofy, innocent young woman who had Disney cuddly toys on her bed, found different ways to inflict indescribable inhumane levels of pain, with some of her victims breaking into tortured screams that experienced paediatricians had never heard before. Well, I would like to hear those tortured screams. I would like to hear the screams of those babies. But I want, to come, I want them coming out of her mouth. Every day of her life. 
however long she lives. I want those noises to come out of her. She got away with her killing spree, despite consultants repeatedly trying to blow the whistle to managers about the spate of deaths on her watch. Dr. Ravi, but it's the managers as well. Managers as well, isn't it? It's always fucking managers. Dr. Ravi Jaram, a TV medic who appears on this morning, said he was fobbed off by nurses after his email warning about Letby prompted the response, it's unlikely that anything is going on. We'll see what happens. They could have stopped it there and then, but these cowardly managers refused to investigate, refused to stop the murder of innocent babies because they are craven cowards who did not want to be seen to admit that there's a problem in their fucking hospitals. Families of the babies killed and harmed have demanded a public inquiry into how Letby was able to do this and main babies for so long. None of the parents had any idea their children had been victims of foul play until they were visited by police up to three years later. Sorry, I'm getting upset. Police are now reviewing the care of all babies that were admitted to the neonatal units of the Countess of Chester Hospital in Liverpool Women's Hospital, where Letby also completed two periods of training in 2012 and 15. They will then examine whether they need to look into any cases in more detail. Let us hope, please God, the ladies of whatever prison this bitch ends up in, please, please make her scream with screams that have been described as undescribable. That these see, these people, these experienced paediatricians never heard anything like it. Let's make sure we hear it again. Let's keep hearing it every day. Please God, let's keep it every day. And there's her writing down the sort of things that she did. She wrote it down. They know she did it. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. There's her parents. Let them be shamed. Let them know that they created a monster. Like fellow nurse Beverly Allett, who was convicted of uh, murdering four infants at two Lincolnshire hospitals in Lincolnshire, Letby used insulin as one of her attack methods. On one occasion, it was claimed she ended the life of a tiny 10-week premature baby boy because she was angry that one of her friends she was texting did not understand why she was upset at being given a break from working in intensive care following the death of another baby. This woman is so evil. This is... This is... You're thinking Second World War death camps evil. This is a mengala, isn't it? In several of the cases, it was suggested let me attack the babies because she wanted a, ma a married paediatrician who insisted she was just a close friend, but was suspected of having an affair with to be, to be crash called to the neonatal unit so that they could try to save the children together, talk about treatments and sympathise with each other after their deaths. Professor David Wilton, a leading criminologist, told the Mail that the desperation to be acknowledged at work were signs of a hero complex and narcissism in Lepi's personality. I'm finding it very hard, so bear with me. Placing herself at the centre of a crisis was also indicative of a mental condition. Munchausen's, he said. Well, Munchausen's by proxy in this case. Uh, tragically, even among the survivors, there are children who will spend the rest of their lives needing around-the-clock uh, care. And sources close to the investigation told the Mail that an independent inquiry was needed to get to the bottom of how Letby was allowed to get away with her crimes so long. It's because managers were trying to cover it up. Every one of those managers that denied the investigation should be in that dock with her. Let's hear them scream as well. Manchester Crown Court told that doctors repeatedly went to hospital managers to blow the whistle, but it wasn't until the deaths of two identical triplets in 23 hours in June 2016 that she was finally removed from the ward and the unexpected deaths and collapses stopped. Even after paediatricians raised their suspicions about her activities, hospital executives initially refused to remove her from the unit. These executives need to be prosecuted. They are directly responsible for the deaths of these innocent children. Prosecute these executives. Prosecute the managers. Prosecute every motherfucking one of them. Let them all pay the price. Let other people see in hospitals that if you allow this shit to happen, you are going to jail and they get the same sentence she does. 
And if it means the rest of their lives in jail, so be it. I do not care. I have zero sympathy. I'm going to stop because I'm getting so angry. I'm going to, I, I'm just going to explain. I'm going to have to stop, go away, have a cup of tea and come back. I'll be back. I will finish this video. Okay. I'm just going to say, now that I've calmed down a bit, that I'm not going to try and finish this video in any other way. Uh, all I'm going to say is this. I hope she rots in jail. I hope she suffers every day. And I think we need to prosecute every manager and executive of that hospital to the same degree as her. That would send a message out to every other hospital that this would never happen again. Thank you very much for watching. I apologize for my emotion in this video. You try to be, um, you try to be distant and I'm, I'm very upset. Uh, the more I read and the more I know about this and it is utterly, I, I, it just gets to me. I thought I used to be hard. I think the older you get, I think somehow the softer you get. Um, and so if my emotion has come through on this video, I apologize. And I'd ask you to like the video, just like the video because it's a very difficult video to like, but please like the video so that we can get this out. Thank you.